So I'm hoping I've found a hidden gem for you guys today here with Forest Keeper. At least I hope so because it's like 12 bucks. I haven't seen any other videos for this on YouTube aside from one video of the demo a while ago. I am going to say it's already starting with a sin because this game, like some other games, whenever I try to change the key bindings, so say if I want to change prone from C to control, but control is already crouch, I don't want to do it because, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, so I try to change this to control. So I can say cancel or okay, right? Like either remove it or don't. So let's see, let's try cancel. Nothing, nothing happens. Okay, well then I'll press okay. Okay, nothing happens. Try to press escape, nothing happens. Try to press every other button on my keyboard, every button on my mouse, nothing happens. The game is essentially frozen at this point and I have to restart it. So that's a super big pain in the ass and I have to restart the game. So one sin from the beginning. Let me restart the game now and we'll jump in. July 28th, as the boat leaves you on the island and an exciting new job, you slowly get familiar with it. I really hope this game is as good as I'm hoping. You accept a job as a forest keeper on an uninhabited island by the recommendation of your psychiatrist. She said you should be alone for a while. This island is not quite known. Rumors say it was a vacation home of a king and used for many things. Currently, it holds no purpose whatsoever. I like it that this stays on the screen until you actually click to get it to go away. Alright, it's July 28th. Ooh. I... I think I like the styling of this. Yeah. Is that like a Mandela design or is that blood stain? <laughs> okay, we're gonna have a bunch of oh, here we go. Oh no, nope, come back, come back, baby, come back. Let me take some ammo, nine mil. Uh, it sucks that that's all blurry and I can't read it unless I actually open transcript and that's not working. Okay, there we go. Island Diary. Henry here. Decided to record my time here on the island. So I started to write a diary. Never done it before. Guess there is a first time for anything. So far, I'm liking that it's like third grade level reading. I feel like all almost games should have that. Although... I like simple writing with um, big words. <laughs> okay, we've got a security camera. Can we scroll through them at all? No? All right. So it sounds like uh, we've got a farm. That door's locked. That's cool. Oh, there's that security camera. And these drawers don't open. All right, let's go downstairs. I don't know if I love the fog, honestly. Right. So this is my house from now on. Not bad. I can't tell. I might need to clean my ear out or something. It seems like my the left channel is always quieter, but when I look like on the view meter, it doesn't look like it's any lower. Island Diary. Henry again. I arrived in the island and began to scout it. The people that brought me here didn't have much to say about the place. I'm glad my psychiatrist recommended me this job. It's rather relaxing. Yeah, I don't know if this fog is like uh, purposeful, like aesthetic for aesthetics, or if it's just a way to uh, not have to optimize the game to have like low detail, low view distance. Picked up fish conserve. Picked up banana. What? Oh, just push. Okay. Explore the island. It's kind of pretty, actually. Cool. <gasps> I like it. I do. Look at the wind floating. <laughs> I'm going to follow it. Oh, what do we have down here? It's hard to tell because all the damn fog. Hmm. <gasps> this is pretty cool. This is a unique environment for a horror game. Ah, shit. 
Can I just walk on the water? <laughs> Looks like some broken radio equipment. Maybe it needs power. So I'm doing some voice acting for Hey Birdie for a game. And I sent in some lines the other day. And look at all the animals. And he was saying it sounded too studio-y at first. Um, whenever, like, um, my voice line's, like, between, like, inside and outside. Like, the outside, it sounded too much like I was in a studio. So it's like, okay, I think if I back up from the mic, that will help that a lot. But I know, I see here with this game exactly what he means. Because this voice definitely sounds too much like it's recorded in a studio. Not like he's outside. But I think I we, we fixed it. I just back, backed away from the mic a little bit. Did a little less processing on it, and it sounded a little more raw, a little more outside. Oh, what else we have here? Okay, yeah, there's a, quite a lot here, though. Dope little tree. A graveyard next to my shed. Not creepy at all. Not at all. But where's the shed? I don't see a shed anywhere. <laughs> Said I should I see a shed? There's some gauze here. Bottle of oil. Alright, let's head over to the lighthouse. Great. The fucking lighthouse is not working. How will a boat find its way here? <sighs> oh man, I hope it's not the case now that I've done uh, some some voice acting for a game. That I'm going to start hearing things all the time now that makes me even more critical. <gasps> Although it's a good thing. It's one of the reasons why I want to learn some like, game development. So that I can be more critical and, and like know what I'm talking about more when I when I kind of critique and review these games. Dear reader, I share this knowledge because I am feeling sinful. The island was inhabited by some king as a vacation home. There were small buildings constructed from cobblestone, a private bunker, and a graveyard. The king and his small family were buried here. Okay. Yeah, just now hearing him say those lines. I I could feel myself struggling to get the right like enunciation and stuff. Can I open it? What am I supposed to do with it? Uh, use it to stand on maybe? No idea. I do keep uh the the freaking baby tick so small. It's never gonna focus. Oh shit, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. You see that? I see it moving on the knife. It's so freaking tiny. And I need to knock it off there and chop it up. Yeah. I did have to go work at a house out in the country today. I bet that's where that came from. I felt, I can't believe I felt that thing. It was so tiny. Like at first I thought, um, it was just like maybe like a little like, like a, not a flea, but like a, a gnat, gnat, is that the right word? I don't know. My office is in a garage, so sometimes I get like little bit bugs flying around out here. So I thought that's probably what it was. Wait, where's the animals at? Oh, right there. Hey, Piggly Wiggly. How are you there, fatso? All right, have we explored the island yet? Um, yeah, no, it still wants us to explore the island. What the hell are we missing? 
Oh, whoa. Great. Continue exploring or return home. then. Hey, Blue Jay. <laughs> Look at it. You're a retarded bird, aren't you? <laughs> oh, you're about to be attacked by a crow. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the house. Wherever it's at. Uh, up the hill. Follow the path. There we go. Okay, we've returned home. Oh, shit. August 12th. You can't seem to sleep. It is the middle of the night. You are curious about that bunker and try to find the key. Okay, it's nighttime now. Let's just keep that on, see if anything happens. Like, how is one of the rooms in here just locked and we haven't found our way in for months? That's weird. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, this... This oven here reminds me of, uh... I just picked up At Tony's. Which is a, like, a job sim horror game where you work at a pizzeria. I played the demo. Man, it was so good. I love job sim horror games. Find the lantern in the graveyard. Oh, okay. Should be easy enough, right? Like this one? Use the key to the bunker. Okay, cool. Okay, so I think the bunker was just if you go kind of straight, right? Those lanterns. Yeah, right here. Very good thing. Riddle me this, Batman. How was our health not improved in the at least, what, well, it's been a month or two <laughs> since that first night? We're still at half health. Looks like some sort of laboratory. I wonder what it's for. We have tape. We have a. No space. Uh, okay, let's eat the banana. Edible, which can heal. Nice. Use. That did not heal much. Okay, what about this? Um, is this medicinal? Err, uh, medicine by combining it with oil. Oh, oil. There we go. Okay, now we have medicine. What's this one? Petrol oil. Oil, okay. Oh, yeah, and we have gauze. So we've got stuff to heal us. That's good. Oh, there's the room key, okay. Dear reader, my name is not important here, but rather what I did. There is a saying, when you pray for rain, you've got to deal with the mud too. Never had this much guilt in my whole life. Whoa. That's a pretty good saying, actually. I've never heard it, but I like it. It makes a lot of sense. And it's true. I mean, kind of. Ah, uh, we've got more inventory space now. Yeah. Find the freaking power button. Power. Put the tape in. Power button on the TV. You have to press play. No idea what happened there. Okay, another letter. Dear reader, one windy night, there was a meteor shower. Most of them fell in the ocean, but there came a small one for me. Like a gift from God, all my research became useless, and therefore a path to immortal life was presented to me. What? 
Uh, hey there, little Buddha man. So let's take this and go put it with the other crate that we have. October 18th, studying the bunker for some time. You uncover some dark secrets and find a key to the locked room in the shed. What shed? Are they using shed and cabin interchangeably? Because I still haven't found a damn shed. Unlock the room in the shed. There is no shed. Oh, it's cool. You can tell it's fall now. It's actually really neat. The dynamic seasons, the time changing in this game. It's freaking cool. Wait a minute. Somebody's been here. Dun, dun, dun. Island Diary. Henry again. Honestly, I am kind of freaking the fuck out. I don't know what that man did in that bunker, but I do know it is something he regrets. I found another key. Is that something we wrote? We wrote it, and we have a voice actor. Why don't we just voice it? There we go. We got a little porch. So beautiful. Okay. Oh, nice. All right. We got our nine. We've got another key. So this is probably the one for the bunker. Some more oil. Dear reader, I left this gun here, and I hope you will not need to use it, but you never know what might happen, as I did not know. I played God himself and got an answer from the devil. Shit. Well, that's not good, is it? See if anything's changed in here. Wait, oh, October 26th. The rain pours on this rainy autumn night. Thunder. Oh, and this. October 26th. As the rain pours on this rainy autumn night, thunder can be heard louder and louder. Dun, dun, dun. Island Diary. Henry. This island has a dark past. First, I find boxes of bullets scattered on it. And now I find the stranger's gun. My insomnia increases. Wait, maybe Man, we shoot the, the... closer. There we go. Okay, what do we got here? What is it? Medicine. We picked up medicine. What else we got here? Oh, right here. 12 gauge shells. We need to find that shotgun. Whoa. What's going on here? I'm starting to feel like this game is going to be pretty short. Which is going to really piss me off. If it's as short as I fear it might be. Because it's 12 bucks. Like. People just like have no understanding of the horror game market. The boat is, is not here yet. Now I have insane. to survive the extra firewood. Holy mother of God! What? Ah! Run! Shut it! Shut it! Reload. Shotgun, hell yeah. Dear reader, if you're reading this, that means I'm dead. I destroyed the meteor fragment the best I could. I'm glad those things hate sunlight. That is why they hid in that cave. And now the king and his family inhabit this island again, only at night. We have to survive the night. All right, should we just stay here until daytime? That makes the most sense to me, honestly, but. November 12th, as you become more anxious, you comfort yourself by fixing the broken radio with the battery you found. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, let's go look at this Who cave now. Who knows how many more there are in that cave? 
That radio is my only hope. Let's go look at the cave. Where was it at again? Right here, I think. Yes. Wait. It's not going to let me go in? Oh, come on. So the zombies can come out, but we can't go in. Oh, thank you very much. What about the Piggly Wiggly? Can I kill him? Aww. Why the animal? Oh, man. That makes me so sad. I'm sorry. I didn't know it'd kill you that quick. I just wanted to give you a little flesh wound. Oh, yeah. It was at the camp on top of the hill. Oh, I should have checked that. <laughs> Oh, right here. Yeah. There we go. Come in. Over. December 5th. As the incoming signal indicates help is on the way, you discover that there are more horrified abominations. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, Island Diary, Henry again, decided to sleep in a nearby camp on a hill. It is very dark here at night, and you can see most of the stars from here. I don't see a damn single one. Yes, I can't believe it. I hope they brought a big boat. Yeah. Henry here. We have sent out an SOS signal through an old radio. Hopefully someone will hear it. How many of those things are there? I can already hear them in the woods. Oh. Let's axe them. There they are. Fuck, when will this nightmare end? <laughs> uh oh. Ah, shit. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, bitch! Where's your buddy? Ah, what's that thing? I need some health. Use the gauze! Okay. Use the... Uh... No. This first aid kit. <sighs> okay, I should don't jump down that stupid hill again. Rah! Okay, I'm OP in the shit out of these things. Where you at, bitch? Dude, the AI, these things are so bad. Uh. Okay. Hmm, I just want to go to bed now. Oh, it won't let me, damn it. All right, I'm ready to give this game like five sins in a row. So I had to go take my son to practice and I get back. I close the game because getting a refund is not out of the question at this point. <laughs> so I didn't want it to just sit there and play for an hour. And this game doesn't save. Like it's got the option here for continue, but I can't click on it. I have to play this all, all the way through again to get back to where I was. And um, boy, does that piss me off and I might giving it a sin. That's, that's some bullshit. Uh, I'll see you guys when I get back to what I'm assuming is the end of the game. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Are you sure all save progress will be lost? Well, no, I don't want to start a new game. I would love to continue. Is this some bullshit? I have to. I, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm sure, I guess. Huh. How many's left? I wish there was, um... Oh, okay, here one. 
Sounds like the oh right there. Shit, I missed. All right, objective completed. Yeah. Now what? December seventh. By running out of ammo and barely escaping this nightmare, the sun shows itself again. I didn't run out of ammo. I had a lot of ammo left. boat oh there's a boat all right December 7th we got our last letter I think Island Diary Henry here again barely survived that night still no sign of a boat running out of ammo I think that fucker dug up the graves and used them as his experiment oh shit I need to get my shit together and find more ammo what do you mean the boats here huh do I really have no ammo I have ammo, I have a lot of ammo. I need more shotgun shells. Oh, what the fuck? <gasps> December 26th. As the boat finally comes near the island, you fight through this night where hell and earth become one. Oh, that's a bigger boat. Hmm. So I have to just make it to the boat? So I have to cross the island? I'm losing my mind here. They should be here by now. God, please help me get through this nightmare. Is this hell? Oh boy. Anything upstairs? Let's see if they're waiting for us outside. Nope. Like, I don't know what the hell the point of the security camera is if we can't use it at any point for any reason. Survive through the nightmare. Right there. I feel like I could just make a run for it, but it'd be more fun to shoot shit, right? Dun, dun. <laughs> shit, bitch! Shit. Here we go, motherfuckers! Where's he? Ugh. I thought he was dead. Fuck! Oh no! I'm going so slow, I'm hurt. Okay, help, help, help. Use! Shit! Go! That didn't do much. Headshot. Fuck. Shit! Good thing the enemy AI is so bad. Got nothing, okay. Why, is that boat just like not gonna come to shore? Shit, okay, reload. And then, let's re, oh, I've got no more ammo for this, okay. So that's why I needed to find more ammo. <laughs> Shit, I am not gonna make it. Oh. Let's see if we can go in the bunker. Can I just stay in here and survive the night? Survive through the nightmare. Not having any health sucks. There's a health kit somewhere that I missed that I had last time that I played this game. I don't know where it is though. Maybe it was up the hill by the radio stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh no. That's a huge bitch. Oh fuck, it's a couple of huge bitches. Oh fuck. <laughs> They're stuck. Headshots. Uh oh. We only have an axe left. Why would they die? Okay, one of them's dead. I feel like if he touches me once, I'll probably be dead. Okay, okay. Cool. We are so out of ammo right now. And we're moving slower than we have the whole time. I thought it was because like our health was low, so we like we're moving slow, but then when I healed up, I was still moving slow, so maybe it's because it's cold. It's like December or some shit. Let's see if we can find that health kit though. Fuck. Let's go find him. There. Sneak up on him. Oh wait, is he looking this way? Shit, he is. What a dummy. Such bad AI. What? Seriously? Object- Oh, I just had to kill them all again, okay. Now what? Now I guess everybody's gonna think I'm fucking crazy. Run, Forrest, run! Get to the boat! He should have just swam. I would have swam. I'd be like, fuck this. I'm swimming to that boat. Like, what would you be more afraid of? Sharks that may or may not be within a few hundred miles or the <laughs> those monsters. All right. Yeah, so this whole game was like 40 minutes. 40, 45 minutes, something like that. I got to give it a sin for the time. Like, and the money, and the price. All right, so that was Forest Keeper. The game wasn't terrible. I didn't have a lot of complaints about it. I ended up giving it four sins, and those were mostly for stupid, like, unpolished things, like the menu and shit, and then the price. The game is just so grossly overpriced, and it just drives me crazy that these people putting out these games just don't know the market at all. So I'm gonna look back at a few other recent horror games and just kind of see what the price is. So I've got two games here. One is Lost Tape Seller, and the other one's just recent, The Stalk. Those games are three and four dollars. So games on par with this about an hour long not super great visually but much better stories three four dollars this is twelve dollars a game that is 20 times better than this game much longer made by a fairly large team is revile and it's twenty dollars introductory price is 15 bloody ink another game made by a solo developer but it took much longer to make i guarantee and that developer knows 10 times as much about game development than this one is Bloody Ink. That game was $10. And then the one that I always bring up, it's a freaking masterpiece of gaming, it's Hollow Cocoon. That was 14 bucks. And this is $12, why? How can you make this game $12? It's not worth $12. It's like a three, $4 game. $5 I wouldn't be upset about, but start going above that and it's just not, it's not worth it. So you're over twice what this game is worth. Like in the tier of competition, this honestly is more like a $2 game. Cause those other games that I named off that were three and four dollars are better than this one in almost every way so i just don't understand the delusion that goes into some people's choices in in selling their game it's just not worth that much and it's never going to be a success and i think a lot of these people are like well i don't have a lot of wish lists so i'm gonna have to charge a lot to recoup some of my time that i put into this game and you charge a lot and nobody's gonna buy it i buy them because i make videos on them so i can warn other people not to buy them but most people aren't gonna buy them so just stop doing that and on that i'm out of here peace out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe.